25th January 2023 is the 13th Nations Voter Day. I am immensely delighted to greet every citizen of India on the occasion of the 13th Nations Voter Day. The Election Commission of India was established on 25th January 1950. That means a day before 26 January 1950. It was a momentous milestone for Indian democracy. Lest you forget this date and its importance, ECI celebrates 25th January every year as the National Voters Day. Voter is the backbone of democracy. And that is why ECI has dedicated its Foundation Day to the voter. As you know, the magnitude and scale of Indian election is mind-blowing. We are the largest and most vibrant democracy in the world. Actually, democracy is in the DNA of every Indian. And we are striving to reach out to facilitate all those voters who, for a variety of reasons, do not vote. Major reasons include urban apathy, youth apathy, domestic migrants and others as well. Today, I thank every voter of India for their enthusiastic electoral participation, election after election and their strict vigilance for ensuring free, fair and ethical elections in the country. For this, we are grateful and beholden to our voters. I must thank the large election machinery of India as well, which has conducted every election with total precision and perfection as a clock moves, almost a Six Sigma activity. And I am especially thankful to our 10 lakh booth level officers, BLOs, for their seminal contribution in the delivery of electoral services. I thank all the political parties from the bottom of my heart for their cooperation and support and every step in the great journey of Indian elections. Dialogue, consensus and mutual goodwill are the hallmark of our electoral system in democracy. After voters, political parties are the biggest stakeholders. Political parties are the trusted partners of ECI in exploring electoral reforms. We are truly grateful and look forward to regular dialogue in future in a spirit of mutual trust. Trust of every stakeholder is the biggest asset of the Commission. And ECI has earned this trust due to its non-partition and professional conduct of elections, elections after elections. And that is why ECI has been chosen to lead the election integrity cohort of the election management bodies and electoral authorities world over. ECI also conducts training courses in election management for all over democracies. We are actually internationally recognized in delivering as one of the most robust and best elections. The number of electors, I must inform you, in India have increased from about 17 crores in 1951 to about 94.5 crores now. Our voter turnout was about 44.87% in 1951-52 elections and which has increased now to 67.4%. Still, there are about 30 crore electors who for a variety of reasons, did not cast their vote in the parliamentary election in 2019. The different reasons of their non-participation are like the urban apathy, youth apathy and domestic migrants. Last year, the representation of the People Act 1950 was amended to provide for four qualifying dates, first of every quarter of the year for enrollment as a voter instead of a single qualifying date of 1st January every year. Thus now, no one will have to wait for a year to become a voter after attaining the age of 18. Not only that, even a 17-year-old prospective voter can now pre-register. His or her name will be added in the electoral roll after he or she becomes 18. From the commission side, the voter card will be delivered by speed post. I appeal to all youngsters to avail these facilities and become proud voters. 
to inform you we have received about 11 lakh advance applications from prospective voters of 17 to 18 years during the summary revision the commission laid great emphasis on transparency of the revision process apart from the health purity and inclusiveness of the electoral roll a special focus was given to the inclusion of youth women third gender people and persons with disability due to these efforts we now have about 1.43 crore first time voters in the age group of 18 to 19 and about 2 crore senior citizens that means 80, per 80 years and plus voters of that over 3 lakhs are centenarian voters 100 plus we also have about 85 lakh persons with disability voters in our role and 47,500 third gender voters. A special focus of the 13th National Voter Day is the young and prospective voters because they hold the key to the future of our democracy. Young people have a lot to offer to the society in the form of energy, innovation, creativity and fresh perspectives. Every electoral participation promotes active citizenship and social responsibility. Today I wish to emphasize that the youth should never shy away from voting. Your electoral apathy is neither in your own interest nor in the interest of the nation. Being a young nation, your stake in the democracy is the highest. So don't underestimate the importance or the power of your vote. This is my appeal to youth. Dear youth, voting is a unique experience. Actually, there is nothing else like voting. Everyone must experience the joy of voting. Therefore, the theme for this year's NBD is nothing like voting. I vote for sure. I want you all to own up this theme, believe in it, share it amongst your friends and display it wherever possible. But the most important thing is that you must actually experience the joy of voting in the next election. We are launching the Main Bharat Hoon, Hum Bharat Ke Maddata Hai song for you. The link of this will be available on our website and social media channels of ECI after 1 p.m. on 25th January. I am sure you will like it. The Election Commission of India is committed to cleaning up of the election space by curbing misuse of money and muscle power. We are pursuing electoral reforms, strictly enforcing the law and equipping voters with the information furnished by the candidates in their affidavits, including their criminal antecedents, if any. We are using technology to facilitate both the voters and the candidates. The Commission also has developed a sea vigil app through which Voters can lodge complaints of any violations during the elections and our team gets their latitude and longitude automatically and respond within 100 minutes timeline. Sea vigil actually means vigilant citizenry. Port is the means by which people exercise their political sovereignty in a democracy. On the occasion of NBD today, let's renew our resolve to safeguard our country's rich democratic tradition of free, fair and peaceful elections and reaffirm our deep faith in democratic process. Once again, I extend my heartiest congratulations and best wishes to every voter of the country on the occasion of National Voter Day. I urge every eligible citizen to enroll as a voter and participate in the elections as nothing like voting, I vote for sure. Jai Hind.